Hey guys, I know I have been gone for a very long time. My laptop has been broken for like a month or a month and a half now. I'm back at home. I was in the city for a while with my aunt and I have now just gotten a chance to make a video for you guys. And if you've noticed, some things have changed. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know this, but if you don't, then surprise! My room is a different color. I love it. The only thing though is that I notice while I'm filming, sometimes it changes my like face color to a smurf color and it looks really really funny but um, hopefully it doesn't do that. If you notice in the beginning of July I was doing such a great job at uploading videos. I was getting one up like every other day and I was gonna see if I could do that for the whole entire month. It actually crashed twice. The first time was while I was uploading a video and the video was the books that I was going to be reading for the booktubeathon. So I ended up not participating. One because I was discouraged, mostly because I was discouraged, but two because I ended up being super busy. But even if I was busy, I would have still found time to participate. But I did so well at reading in the month of July, but that's like a whole nother video, which is going to be my July and August wrap-up slash favorites. And then the second time it crashed was when I was filming my July wrap-up, and it just stopped and then crashed while I was filming the video. So hopefully it doesn't do anything now. In the month of July, I had mentioned that I was thinking about going on a book buying ban. And I kind of did for the majority of it, but towards the end I kind of had a relapse and I ended up buying uh, three books actually, but there was kind of a deal on that and I'll show you in a second. But the other two books my mom offered to buy me. But real quick, I just want to say that I am now starting today, tonight, whatever, I'm going on a book buying ban. Or starting tomorrow, I guess, because did I buy any books today? I didn't buy any books today, but I really want to officially start it tomorrow, which is a Tuesday. Um, what's the date today? Tuesday, August 20th. I'm going to start my book buying ban. Now, instead of doing Project 10, which is where for books you read 10 books and then you can buy another one, I'm going to do Project 20. And the only time I can ever get a book is if I'm currently reading a book and the sequel is out, I can get it. But other than that, no buying books. One thing though I did mention when I said something about a book buying ban was that if my mom or dad offered to buy me a book, I'm not going to pass it up. Hopefully the Project 20 is a good thing for me and I don't break it. Anyway, I have been talking way too long, so I'm just going to start with the book haul. So the first book I have here is actually what my mom purchased for me, and this is called Stealing Parker by Miranda Kennelly or Keneally. This book is $8.99 paperback and is about this thick, and I've already read this book, and I thought it was okay. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, but I probably would have given it a 4 out of 5 stars now, thinking about it, just because I love Catching Jordan so much, and I'm kind of comparing it to this one. Which Catching Jordan, I believe, is the first one. This one's the second one. And then Things I Can't Forget is the third one. They're all companion novels. Then this is another book that my mom purchased for me. And this is The Beautiful and Damned by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This book was $25, I believe, hardcover. Yes, this book was $25 hardcover and is about this thick. And it's beautiful. I don't know if I'm going to ever read this anytime soon. Probably in the future. But I'm just so intimidated by this book. I did read The Gatsby, but that was so much smaller and I read it with a whole class, so it's not like I was interpreting it on my own. I said that word kind of funny, interpreting. Then this is when I relapsed. I went into Barnes & Noble, which I, let me tell you, saved so much money not buying books. I had a lot of money, well not a lot, definitely not a lot, but more than I ever do. Now the deal was it was the buy two, get the third free. So the first one that I picked up from the table was Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, and this is $15 paperback and is about this thick, and um, it's like a pretty thickish book. Now the reason I got this is because it was one of the books that was required to read for school and I haven't finished it yet and school starts in two days so I have to get cracking on it. I have this much to go and I know I can read that many pages. It's just I'm not very motivated. So let's hope I get a big chunk done tonight. Then the next book I picked up is Tiny Beautiful Things, Advice on Love and Life from Dear Sugar by Cheryl Strayed. And this one was $14.95 paperback and is about this thick. Now if I could go back in time and tell myself not to get this one and get Dan by Chuck Palahniuk instead, I would. Except the, that book wasn't an option when I went. It wasn't on the table at either of the Barnes & Nobles that I went to. Not that I knew that it was going to be on the table, but recently I went in and saw that. And I think I still have the receipt, but I don't know how long it's been since I bought these books. It's been a while, so I don't know if I can return it anymore. This one, though, caught my interest. This is His Majesty's Hope by Susan Ella McNeil. And this one's $15 paperback and is about this thick. Now, I don't think I'm going to read this soon, but it sounded interesting. It's like about a spy or something like that. I don't know. I still have a few more books to get through, so I have to kind of hurry this up. Then these next three I got at a book sale at some library that I went into. So this is Al Capone Does My Shirt by Jennifer Cho something something. I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is what the cover looks like. And it was $16.99 originally hardcover and is about this thick. I got it for $4. But I thought that 
book jacket sounded interesting. I asked a few people what they thought of this book and they had said they didn't enjoy it very much and one of them said something that I didn't particularly like hearing. I'm not gonna say what it is. Oh, there's like a tiny gnat flying around, sorry. Um, but now I'm really reluctant to read it and so I don't think I'm gonna read it soon, but hopefully in the future I will. Then these next two I just decided to pick up because I want to start collecting all the Harry Potter books in hardcover. I already have six and seven in hardcover and now I have two and three so I have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Now I've seen Harry Potter books in hardcover at used bookstores before. I didn't know they were such hard things to find or something like that because a few people told me that and uh, my aunt was like so jealous that I found the second one because she doesn't have the second one or the first one which I've seen the first one many times before but they've always been like such different prices like once I saw one for thirty dollars and I went to the half price bookstore and I found like five of them in, in a row and they were all like $6.99 or something like that. Then the last two are new books from Barnes & Noble and I didn't pick them up at the same time but they're both from Barnes & Noble. I got Right Away by Lauren Barnholt and this is a companion novel to Two Way Street. This one was $16.99 hardcover and is about this thick and I was so 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 excited when I saw this. I didn't even know this was going to come out until I looked on Instagram and saw some people were currently reading this book. Now I don't know what anybody has thought of this book yet. Please 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 don't tell me you hate it, hated it if you read it because when someone tells me they didn't enjoy a book I end up thinking that in my head which is a horrible thing but it just happens for me. So please don't tell me you didn't like it. I loved Two Way Street. It's one of my all time favorite books. If you watch my videos for a long time you've already known that. So I can't wait to read this one. The only thing is when I was reading the description of this book, I thought it sounded a lot like Two Way Street, which if it wasn't by the same author, maybe I wouldn't be so like, meh, like why? But because it is, I'm just like, she could have changed it up a little, but hopefully she takes me by surprise. Um, I really can't wait to read this one though. And then the last one that I got was The Distance Between Us by KZ West. And this was $9.99 paperback and is about this thick. And I have not heard a single thing about this book. But I read the back and I thought it was really interesting. And I started reading it at Barnes & Noble, which I normally don't do. Um, and I kind of enjoyed it, so I can't wait to read it. But I am currently still reading uh, Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, which I have fallen so far behind in my Goodreads challenge for 50 books. I am now like six or seven books behind again, because when I read in July, I caught up almost to the point where I was like right on track. Um, I can't wait to get back into a regular pace of videos. I know this one was kind of a rushed one. I apologize. I have yet to film the answers to my questions video and if you haven't yet could you please go to that video and leave me a question. It would mean so much to me and if you already have uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I I think I have at least like 18 questions. Last time I checked that's how many comments were on the video and I haven't looked at any of the questions because I want to surprise myself for when I actually do the video. So my answers to the questions is what you get and I can't wait. I think the next video I'm going to film might be that one so in the next few days but if you could please if you haven't seen the answers video yet to this one could you go to that video and leave me a question I'll leave the link to the video down below or on my face and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon bye